It's been a long time since I got started in RC, but today's video, I just kind of wanted to share a few things that I wish I would have done differently or sooner when I got started. So there's not really an order to this, but the last one is at the end because it kind of brings everything together. Number one on my list is that I wish I would have had the right tools earlier on. I wish I would have invested in tools earlier on versus other things that I may have invested in. Um, basically, I was just using the ready to run tools from kits and kind of just guessing what was gonna go where and what was gonna fit. I stripped a lot of screws. I used a lot of hardware store Allen keys and things that didn't really get where they needed to be. I busted my knuckles more often than I should, and I just didn't have that good of an experience wrenching. I liked it, but it was a lot harder than it needed to be because I didn't really have the right tools. Okay, so for number two, uh, it's kind of like number one in a way, but I wish I would have invested in gear, like better gear earlier on. So when I say gear, I mean like transmitter, radio gear, uh, chargers, things like that. Um, I was using the bottom of the barrel charger for the longest time, so I wasn't able to really take good care of my batteries. And then as far as radio gear goes, I was using ready to run transmitters for like way too long. I had like Velcroed my receivers so that I could take them from one rig to another. So like I would be building kits and then I would take like my TQI setup and I would put it over in the kit whenever I wanted to run that. And then I'd move it back to my stampede or whatever whenever I wanted to run that. And honestly, that was just not the way to go. I didn't learn about anything that I needed to didn't learn about charging rates and how to take care of batteries. I didn't learn about radio tuning or any of that kind of stuff. I didn't know what dual rates were, expo, any of that cool kind of stuff that a good radio provides you. So yeah, I definitely wish I would have invested in better gear earlier on because I would have learned a lot more and I would have been able to better take care of my stuff. Number three on my list is that I wish I would have upgraded with a purpose. So I would just upgrade my Emacs just to upgrade it. Like I would just wanted to replace the stock parts with something else it seemed like. And it turned out that I was wasting a ton of money that I could have spent on literally anything else. Uh, I was buying upgrades, obviously not radio gear or anything important, um, just to bling out the truck and make it cooler to me. But ultimately, I think I was hurting the performance in some way or another, and I didn't really learn like anything from it. I was just learning how to take apart, put back together the Emacs. So I guess, yeah, that's a good thing. But at the same time, I was just spending way too much money on upgrades that didn't really do anything. What I wish I would have done was upgrade sort of like with a goal in mind. I feel like I kind of did that sometimes, but that's like what upgrading is for, is to upgrade the performance or the aesthetic, I guess, of the rig. But like I said, guys, I was just wasting money. I was replacing parts just to do it. So number four on my list is similar to number three, but it applies to RC cars instead of upgrades, but also kind of both. Um, quality over quantity. I wish I would have focused on like getting things that I really wanted versus kind of getting more things that were like cheaper, but kind of close. So these two may not really apply to a lot of people, but early on in the hobby, I was wasting a lot of money just kind of getting things. And it wasn't really a good idea because I never really wound up getting what I wanted. Or if I did, it's like I had to waste all this money to get there. So that's that one. I wish I would have focused on quality over quantity and focused more on like learning this new high quality vehicle versus buying a bunch of random crap and hoping that it was gonna be kind of close. So number five on my list is a big one. And this one kind of is like ramping into the most importance. Um, I wish I would have built a kit sooner. I wish I would have built a kit either as my first RC car or as like my second one. The reason that I wish I would have built a kit so much sooner is that after having built a kit, I've learned that like the experience is a lot more intimate and a lot more personal. You have to do this whole big project before you actually get to run it. Building a kit is just a lot more of a personal and curated experience. You get to select a lot of your gear yourself. Like you can pick a high quality servo versus having this ready to run servo that you're gonna replace later. You pick your radio gear, so you might wind up with better radio gear that you'll use for multiple RC vehicles. You learn the whole entire RC car inside and out because you built it and you got to pick your motor like you paint the body. It's so much more personal and so much more custom to your own experience that it's something I really wish I would have done sooner. And if any of you guys out there have not built a kit, you should. You absolutely need to uh, build a Tamiya kit, build, build any kit and you'll understand what I'm saying. It's a whole different ball game. It's a different aspect to the hobby and I didn't experience that for quite a few years and I really regret that. All right, so number six, and this is the capstone. This is the number one thing that I wish I would have started doing when I got into RC. And that is, I wish I would have started racing or competing sooner. Now, if I got into racing sooner, I would have done literally everything on this list a whole lot sooner. I would have definitely built a kit sooner. 
I would have absolutely had better radio gear and a decent charger. I would have been trying to take care of my batteries so that they had like peak performance. I would have certainly been upgrading with a plan because not only in classes are you limited to the upgrades that you can do, but even if you're in an open class, whatever you're doing to your little RC car needs to be like helpful to you on the track. And I would have absolutely been focusing on quality over quantity because uh, whatever kit that I built is gonna be what they're running at the track, which is likely like a race buggy or something like that. And I'm gonna learn this thing. I'm gonna learn how to tune it. I'm gonna be working with it and racing it for at least a year. So at that point, I'm definitely focused on the quality over quantity aspect as well. And honestly, I would have had the right tools earlier on as well because I would have been surrounded by people that are using the right tools while they're tuning their cars. You know, I would have been learning and doing all that kind of stuff. Now, outside of bringing all the other things together, starting racing earlier would have done a lot for me just on its own. I would have been in a community of people a lot sooner in RC and I would have learned things much faster. Racing also kind of stands on its own as something that I wish I would have done sooner. Like outside of getting me to do all these other things sooner, racing itself is something that I wish I would have done sooner because I would have been immersed in, in a community. I would have been learning about RC cars as a whole a lot faster than I was on my own with my Emacs and all my bashers. Not to say that there's anything wrong with bashing, but like racing gives you a different aspect to the hobby that is something I just really wish I would have had sooner. And like I said, the community, the higher end kits, the smart upgrading and all of these things, it just would have been a lot nicer sooner in the hobby for me. So if you've never done any racing or comp crawling or any kind of competing in RC, I would actually suggest that you go to your local club or your local wherever and try it out because it's a lot of fun and it'll change the hobby for you. It's definitely a different dynamic and it's a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, that was the six biggest things that I wish I would have done when I started the hobby. Uh, if there's anything that you wish you would have done when you started, leave it in the comments because I feel like we all probably have different things here and there that we wish we would have either done or known before we got into RC. Anyway, with that being said, if you like this video, give me a like. And if you like this type of content, you should subscribe. I try to post a video like this at least once a week. It's always RC related. It's a lot of fun. And um, yeah, with that being said, this is a video and we'll catch you in the next one.